You can't force dismemberment on people. It's still something, if we are all seized of the right to self-determination, we may come to the point where we don't agree to break it up. Or we may decide that the best thing to do is to break it up. But to expect that because you prefer that it be broken up, that sentiment will be shared by all, that's a little too simple. Let's focus on winning the right to self-determination in the country in which we've been locked. Perhaps when that has been done, we may then progress to the point of deciding that actually we prefer to do a republic, Biafra, Arewa, South South, or whatever the constructs that will come out of a Nigerian dismembered might be. So that's as far as that is concerned. The right to self-determination grants you the right to secession. Let's win that first, and then we can take it from there. The best they can do are the cyber attacks that they have just deployed this morning. Other than that, there is nothing anybody can do to turn a man who is intent on peace into a violent one. The decision to be violent is personal. Nobody is going to force me into a violent struggle. I do not deprecate those who have elected to take up arms against this unjust system. I will not even speak against it. As long as the violence is not visited on fellow citizens who have done nothing to deserve it, it's not my business. It is the duty of the state to protect its citizens. Citizens is exactly what we are not. So I will not speak against the right of those who have decided that they must rebel against this unjust system. I do not support violence. I do not believe it is a viable path to our liberation, but I'm not speaking against it. The total absence of law governing the actions of those who should be law enforcement officers is symptomatic of an environment where the government or the people in control desires the silence of the victims. Talk is not cheap. When you see the press refusing to ask critical questions, refusing to report critical news, self-censoring itself from reporting what is going on across the country, it should tell you that talk is not cheap. The intention at all points in time is to keep you quiet so that you accept the status quo that has enslaved you. Your silence is required to legitimize your enslavement. That the Yoruba culture is reflective of the Igbo culture, the Ijo culture, African cultures are generally mirrors of each other. There is nothing in our culture that silences the youth in the face of the oppression or evil of those who are older or are in power. The Yorubas will say, That is to say that it is not the sole prerogative of the old to be wise. It is up to you to speak. Do not allow them to use culture or tradition to silence you. It is evil. Talk is not cheap. Those who have elected to keep quiet are well paid for their silences. They have compromised and sold your interest, and that is why they are quiet and they are encouraging you to look away from telling the truth of what you see or speaking to the afflictions that you feel. Talk is not cheap. When you hear them talking about the regulation of social media, understand very clearly that the only reason that agitates them is because you have taken the media afforded by technology to break the monopoly of new cycle that has been compromised by the system. All of a sudden, I don't need a TV station to speak to you. I can speak to you and you can walk away with the truth or you can point to the lies that I might tell. 
That is because we have been empowered. So when you hear them talking about regulating social media, it is because talk is not cheap. Talk is important. It is actually a precursor to your freedom. Your rubbers will say, no, any laughing, come here. it is with your mouth that you reject what you don't want. That there is none, actually. There is no oppressive government in the world that will seek to regulate social media. Reality of the fact is that there are enough laws on our books to regulate conduct, whether that be on social media or that be in the physical space. There are laws on libel, whether that be criminal libel or civil libel. So when somebody is saying they want to regulate social media, what they are saying is that they want to design your gag so that you may not speak. Violation of is a very good example when we talk about talk not being cheap. Agbajalingo is another good example. Everybody who has spoken against this system whether that be in history, such as Dele Giwa, who was killed, he was killed only because he spoke. He wasn't contesting any office. Shogorela has been chased around in prison because he's been speaking. The only reason he had been a victim of this system since 2019, 20, uh, 2019 yeah, is because he spoke against the system. If he had not spoken against the system, nothing would have happened to him. Fella was handed to death simply because he spoke. Ganifawa Imi was handed to death simply because he spoke. Those who used to speak yesterday and are not speaking today or are speaking double-mouthed is because they are eating. The system has found ways to compromise them because talk is not cheap. Don't let anybody tell you that lie. It is critical that we all come to the knowledge and clear understanding of the fact that we live in an environment where more than ever before there is a need for men of, and women of goodwill to open their mouths and to speak truth to power. Not just to power, speak truth to liberate, speak truth to educate, speak truth to mobilize, speak truth to galvanize, speak truth to help the people understand the issues Talk is not cheap. Let nobody fool you. I have always maintained that going on the street to protest against this system is a waste of time. And I have always insisted that only a revolution that changes the entire system is of any benefit to us as a collective. But what has that battered? My victimization on multiple levels up to the point where some people desire my death. I will be here to write the obituaries of each and every one who has desired my demise. I'm not dying anytime soon. You will all die before me when you desire my death. Some died so that I can enjoy the right to speak to you as I am speaking to you. Do not ever make the error of saying that talk is cheap. Talk is not cheap. Talking is the beginning of expression of your ideas, your pains, and your ideals. Never give it up. Talk is not cheap. In the days of the Alawa Kaba Shorons of this world, in the days of Priscilla Kuye, before Babangida came and began to make MBA chairman, or the president of MBA, before he started turning them into attorney generals of the federation, the MBA used to be the conscience of this country. What happened to the Nigerian Labour Congress? Since the days of Pascal Bafia and that ugly monkey from, the, from Edo, Adam Oshio Mole, the NLC has become compromised and all of a sudden you, say, you hear people say talk is cheap. Talk is not cheap. They've become humongously rich by being blind and silent to the afflictions of the people. So why talk might be cheap for those who purchase the silences of men? Talk is certainly not cheap for the victims of this system. Do not join them in perpetuating that idiocy.